welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, we are talking all about skincare in today's video. I'm gonna be sharing with you a ton of products that I've been loving the past few months that have really gotten my skin to a whole new level, okay? Because lately my skin has been flourishing and you guys have definitely noticed. So some of these products are newer for me and others I've been using for years. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it and start off with cleansers. So the first cleanser I wanted to tell you guys about is this Urban Skin Dry Skin Cleansing Bar. So I first got this probably over a year ago now, and I've used this so many times, y'all, and it's barely even touched the surface as far as how much I'm actually making an indent in there, but I love this because it's one of the only products like this on the market that I've seen where you actually get these two sponges with it. And I love this because I'm notorious, okay, you guys? I'm notorious for not exfoliating. I don't really like using scrubs on my skin. I feel like they're super abrasive. And I have a Clarisonic, actually multiple Clarisonics and different like facial uh, tools, but I will, because I'm always on the go, I literally forget them at home or I don't feel like hopping out of the shower or going and searching for my Clarisonic or some other brush to use on my skin. So I really don't exfoliate that much, but this product really helped me when I was traveling a ton. Next is this Soy Face Cleanser from Fresh Beauty. I love Fresh Beauty. You guys are going to see a lot of their products in this mix of stuff. They're the newer brand that I've started using lately. And I actually first tried this probably two or three years ago, or maybe it wasn't that long ago. It was a while ago. I got one of the little travel sample sized ones from Sephora. I think in one of my like Sephora beauty points rewards or whatever. I actually keep it in one of my suitcases that I know that I carry on with a lot because that's another cleanser that because of its small size, I can take with me while I'm traveling in different bags and stuff. And so I got the larger size and I really fell in love with it again because I hadn't used it in a while. So this is a really interesting cleanser because the consistency of it is really jelly-like. It's, it's kind of a mix between a gel and a cleanser. So when you use it, it almost feels like I don't want to say mucusy because that's not a pleasant word, but it it has like a, a thick consistency, but it's slippery and it really does feel like a, a, a it, it it is a really unique type of cleanser, but it's so good and leaves your skin really fresh and soft and cleansed. So I love using this. And the last cleanser I wanted to show you guys is this Milky Jelly Cleanser from Glossier. I actually did a video using this when it first first launched like 2014 or 15 or something and I remember being so crazy about it I went through the whole bottle and then I just recently got another bottle because I was like why did I ever stop using it you guys I do not use a cleanser straight in the morning uh, if it's a regular day and I haven't been to the gym or anything I'm just starting my day off I actually start with toner instead so Here's another product from Fresh Beauty. This is the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. Oh, I love this so, so, so much. I got this from Sephora about six months ago now. This stuff goes such a long way. You don't need a lot of it. And so I actually use this in the morning as my soft, gentle cleanser instead of using an actual facial cleanser because when I've done all the work at nighttime with my night routine, which I'll show you guys those products too, I don't wanna wash off all that goodness that set into my skin overnight unless it's an overnight mask or something but so that's why I use a toner instead of you know a cleanser in the morning just so that my skin doesn't feel over manipulated and over you know sometimes we do too much and a lot of times our skin just wants to calm down and chill out so this is a really good hydrating toner if you are somebody that struggles with really any kind of skin condition, dryness, your oily combo, you want to use a toner that'll help, you know, shrink your pores and all that kind of stuff and get you like pH balance. 
but you also want to get a toner that's hydrating so i know a lot of people use like witch hazel as a toner and witch hazel can actually be kind of harsh on your skin if you use it too much so if you're using witch hazel every day which i know i used to in college when i had a lot of acne which now thinking about it didn't really make sense because i was using too many cleansers in my regimen i had the toner i had the cleanser in the morning and the night and it was just too much so my skin was always acting up because it didn't know what to do so using a really hydrating toner like this one will help keep your face pH balance so that your skincare products work better, your makeup looks better, and all that good stuff. So now we're talking makeup removers. My favorite makeup remover wipes right now, you guys, are these Micellar Water Simple Skincare Wipes. These ones take off my makeup so easily. It, they smell really refreshing, and they're on the cheaper side. They are drugstore brands, so you can grab these literally almost anywhere, and they work amazing, so I love using these. And then I also really like this solid cleansing oil. It's basically like a solid gel consistency. I don't know, another one of those weird different types of um, skincare products, you know? But I love this because you can literally put it all over your face and it feels like a gel mask. Like you're just throwing like all this like moisturizing goodness all over your face and then wipe off all your makeup. It is really a nice experience for makeup removal. And then a OG in the game of makeup removers is Bioderma. They're uh, micellar, basically it's micellar water. Um, it, I think, I wanna say that they were the brand that really originated the whole micellar water and makeup remover fad. I think, I wanna say this, because I remember back in the day, everybody on YouTube was using Bioderma makeup remover in their makeup videos, and I always wanted to try it, so I recently got it maybe a month or two ago and i've been loving it it's so good it's really refreshing lightweight and makes taking your makeup off really easy all right you guys now for my favorite part moisturizer so first moisturizer we're talking about is the kiehl's ultra facial cream this one is a love of a lot of people because it's really really good i have this travel size i got at a i think i got it at an event or something i think when a maybe a beautycon pre-party i think maybe a year or two ago that might have been two years ago now that I think about it. It's really moisturizing, super thick consistency. I'm big on moisturizers, y'all. That's like my most important part of my skin regimen. And I really feel like since I've been focusing on moisturizing my face more than, you know, trying to combat acne or breakouts and stuff like that, everything like the texture of my skin the glow in my skin all of it has really improved because i'm focusing on moisture more so than anything else i also really love the glossé priming moisturizer in rich this is great for right before your makeup it is super thick like really really thick which i love i love thick moisturizers i just feel like they pack so much moisture which they really do yeah you can see it's so thick that it's like yeah not coming out of here <laughs> so i love using this before makeup as like my moisturizer and primer together sometimes i'll skip regular moisturizer and regular primer and just use this or sometimes i will use a moisturizer and then this on top i really don't see a difference in either way it's just sometimes i do sometimes i don't the next moisturizer is from Fresh Again. This is their Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream with Super 7 Complex. This is like a spa. The way it smells, you guys, oh my gosh. It smells like melon, like watermelon um, mixed with like another fruity, citrusy kind of ingredient. I don't know what it is, but it reminds me when I get facials at the spa, like this is what it smells like and so i love using this at night this is kind of like my token nighttime moisturizer because after the shower i love using this after taking all my makeup off after the day putting this on and just moisturizing your skin getting your blood going 
it's a thing and it is real and it is amazing you got to try this it's really really good so lastly i want to chat with you guys about different treatments and things that i use for specific needs first treatment i want to show you guys is this eye gel from fresh again it's got the same oh that's what it is it's cucumber extract that's what it is okay so the cucumber extract is in this and in the moisturizer that's why it feels so like cool and invigorating now i now i understand <laughs> but yeah this is a really great eye gel i use in combination with the moisturizer at nighttime i really only do eye gels at night um and if you're not using an eye gel yet and you're in your 20s start this is the time i know you know i'm young and i don't really need to worry about anti-aging and wrinkles and stuff like that but before you know it, y'all, we gonna get old and not old in a bad way, you guys. Aging is beautiful. It is a part of life, but we want to make sure that our skin is well taken care of through the journey of life, you know? So I love using this eye gel. I've used other eye gels before, but again, this, this collection, the Lotus collection, just really makes me feel like I'm at a spa. So I love to take skincare and beauty into a as luxurious experience as possible at home. <laughs> Another treatment that I really love is this one from um, Dr. Jart. It's their Tiger Grass Repair Serum. This is a really good product to add on before your moisturizer, but right after your toner. So depending on what skin needs you have, whether you're using like a vitamin C serum to like lighten dark spots or other serums that tend to your skin needs, this one is a really good overall serum. If you're not really sure what you need or what to try, um, if you have just sensitive areas or skin or whatever, this is a really good just overall serum that helps a lot of different things in your skin. So I actually use this in the daytime after the fresh rose water toner and then whatever moisturizer I'm using for that day. And with that product, they've also got these nightly repair masks. If you are feeling like your skin is just looking overall dull, not really glowy or anything like that, use one of these. So I love that these come in a box and they're individual packs so you can keep these in all places. You can keep them by your bed, you can keep them in your backpack, in your purse, wherever, and just take one out and apply it at night instead of your regular moisturizer. And it really does help kind of give your face some life and give your skin some life back. So I love these and these are another product that I love taking with me when I'm traveling and whatnot, especially after like long flights and stuff. I feel like my skin always looks like blah. <laughs> so having these on hand that I can just throw some on before I go to bed and know that my skin is going to be so good in the morning is a lifesaver. Now I really don't deal with breakouts anymore or like lots of acne or anything. In college I did a lot and high school I did but now I'm 27 I don't really experience crazy breakouts anymore which has to obviously do with my skincare regimen, but just hormonally, I still get pimples though. So I love using this Neutrogena on the spot acne treatment, you guys. I have used this for probably 10 plus years. I have tried other products, more expensive products, you know, cheaper products, whatever, and this one still takes the cake. It always works for me. Usually if I have pimples, I can get rid of them in like a day or two using this. And then anytime that I feel like a pimple is coming, I'll use this in those areas too. So like even like right, like right here, I have this red pimple. I use this this morning on it and I'll use it at night. And this will probably be gone in a day or two, not even. So I love using this as like a spot treatment. And then as a mask to just overly, you know, cleanse and detox my face, I love using the Glam Glow Super Mud. I've actually gone through two of these already, but I just love it so much. And I've used so many other masks from them, but this is by far my favorite. This one and the Youth Mud are two of my favorites because they just work really well for my skin needs. I usually deal with just like a lot of redness, a lot of uh, some breakouts here and there, you know, underneath my pores, I can tell when my pores are like clogged because they raise up a bit more so you can actually see a lot of texture on my skin. So this mask helps kind of like smooth everything out, get all the gunk out of my pores and stuff. It really extracts all that dirt out. So I love using this like, you know, every so often. I'm not going to tell you guys that I use it every week because I definitely do not. I do not 
do face masks as much as I deep condition my hair, which is weekly, <laughs> but I definitely use a face mask probably every two weeks. If not, I'm using it just when I feel like I really need it. And last but not least is my Sally Hansen Brush On Hair Remover for Face, y'all. I have been using this since college. I love this to get rid of my stash, y'all, because y'all see how much hair I have on my head? and how much hair I have on my eyebrows. Yeah, I have lots of hair everywhere, okay? I'm not even gonna lie to y'all about that. But I love using this because it is pain-free. I've been using it for years. I've never dealt with any sort of um, burning sensations or anything like that. It's really gentle on my skin and it keeps me smooth and hair-free. So those are my current skincare favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you guys have any further questions about skincare stuff or just my experience with other products or whatever and let me know if you guys like this video by giving me a thumbs up and making sure that you are subscribed and you're on notification until next time you guys